What's up guys, how the heck are you doing? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Drewcifer and on this channel I talk about filmmaking and photography tips, tricks, and tutorials. And again, we are talking about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Now I'm gonna make a whole entire series surrounding DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and how to edit in DaVinci Resolve, not only on the desktop, but within the iPad. That way you guys can bring up your DaVinci Resolve skill set. Now, I just learned some major news about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So I just made a video talking about, I was going to upload more videos talking about the hidden features in the iPad optimization version. And you don't wanna miss this one because it changes everything. So I was tipped off by a commenter uh, on my last video um, Outlast Overland talking about bringing up some of the extra pages that the um, DaVinci Resolve iPad version was missing. Now if you looked at the bottom when we did the original review and if you looked at other reviewers they were talking about being a little frustrated that DaVinci Resolve didn't have all the pages. You just had your cut page and you had your color page. Now there's a way to fix it and get all the pages right here on your iPad and I'm gonna show you right now. So jumping here into DaVinci, I just have a old clip here of an unboxing I did and uh, you could see down at the bottom we have the media page just like the desktop version, we have the color page and we have the export page. Now if I hit some shortcut keys like uh, shift 3, shift 2, you see I get my cut page back, shift 5, shift 6, shift 7, shift 8, shift 9, you can see that I get everything even including Fairlight. Now the pages I'm most concerned about uh, including is the edit timeline page. So that is shift three on my keyboard. I set that up as a hotkey. So you see it here. So this is the, the, so this is the page that I wanted iPad to have the most because this is how I spend most of my edits in this page here. Now the cut page uh, before was a little frustrating because you couldn't zoom in and out of your timeline, not even using the hotkeys command plus or minus. So when we go over here to the timeline page, you can command minus, command plus to zoom in and out of your timeline, which makes editing a lot easier. Or you have this touch slider up here that lets you do that flawlessly. Now, the way these pages are hidden is you have to hit option, command K to bring up your keyboard customization. So all you have to do is you have to scroll down here on the right side, or you can search show, hit enter, and it's going to bring up all of these options, but you want to go to the one that says show page. Right here, under workspace, show page. And when you click that, you have all of these different pages that you would see in your full version of DaVinci Resolve on your desktop. Now, color, cut, deliver, edit, fairlight, Fusion and media pages. So before all of these hotkeys were blank and I went in and I added these hotkeys. Now if you click it, you can change it to whatever hotkey that you want to use on your keyboard, but this is the only way that you're going to be able to bring these pages up. So after you use these hotkeys, you press close and then once you go back to your main timeline here, you're only gonna see the cut page and the color page still until you start using command and your hotkeys and then you'll see those other pages start popping up. Um, so this is a crazy workaround and I can't believe that more people haven't found this out, especially the bigger media companies that have had this app for a couple months. Now I will say that thanks to Outlast Overland, he tipped me off. I did a little bit of research and found another YouTuber that just found this out today as well named Michael Tobin. Uh, I'll link him down in the description, but uh, he's been talking a lot about iPad and DaVinci as well. So after the holidays, after Christmas, we're gonna be doing a whole lot of DaVinci Resolve tutorials here on this channel because it is the supreme editor of choice. And again, now that you can use it on the iPad, 
it is accessible to almost everybody. So hopefully this tip helped you guys out as much as it did me. If it did, drop a comment down below, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more filmmaking and photography tips from the Drusifer channel. And the same as the last video, this video was completely edited on the iPad and if you watch after the credit sequence, I'll show you a time lapse of me editing it. So as always, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.